Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Melanie of Melanie Loves Mexico. This week, um, believe it or not, I'm actually not in Mexico, I am in Cuba. So, kind of proof that Melanie Loves Mexico can go other places. Um, this week I am staying at the Valentin or Valentin Perla Blanca, which is in Cayo Santa Maria. Um, Cayo Santa Maria is like a little island kind of just off of Cuba. It is about an hour and a half drive from the closest airport. Um, this resort is ranked a four and a half to five star, um, depending where you look. I would say it's probably a little bit, well, it's Cuba, so it's kind of hard to compare. It's kind of like apples and oranges a little bit. Um, but it is adults only, it is on a beautiful beach. And as you know, for Cuban standards, that is the ranking. Um, if you were comparing it to somewhere in Mexico or Dominican, um, it's probably more in the three to three and a half to four, depending on a few different factors that I'll go over. Um, yeah, so we've been here. It is March of 2023. Um, we did get here on a Tuesday, it's now a Sunday. So we're kind of nearing the end of our vacation. So I thought I would do this tour now. Um, it's a little bit later in the morning than I usually like to do these, so there I might not talk as much just because there's a lot of people and you look like a weirdo, but um, here we go. I'm going to turn this around. So this is kind of the main entrance where you get dropped off. As you can hear there's a lot of birds. Um, this is kind of the main lobby area. There's a little bar over in that corner. Um, I have not actually used that bar. It does look pretty cute though. They call it the tea corner. I don't really think it's necessarily known for its tea, but reception desk um, it's a very big spacious open-air lobby um, you can see a beautiful view of the ocean down there this is the kind of main lobby bar area um, in the evenings from about 7 to 9 30 um, they have entertainment in here there's usually a band or a singer um, i've really enjoyed that you can see there's a little stage over there the main lobby bar i would say you can get the best drinks here um, we really have enjoyed the drinks in here and the coffee in the morning is really really good they make amazing cappuccinos it's a lovely place to just sit in the morning and start your day have a coffee um, they do have, and I, I do think they have better drinks here, like mixed drinks and stuff. I think they take a little bit more time with them than they do kind of at the pool bar area. To backtrack again a little, I'm sorry, I should have mentioned this at the start of the video. Um, I have stayed here before. I was here pre-COVID in uh, December of 2017. So it was somewhere that I always said I would like to come back to, um, which kind of surprised me. I'm not against Cuba in any way, but um, this resort did kind of stand out to me as one I would come back to. Um, so when we, it was closed for a lot of resorts, as I'm sure people watching know, were closed for a lot of COVID. This one was closed even longer. I think it opened in... It closed in March of 2020 and it did not reopen until November of 2022. So it's quite a long stretch of time. Um, so when we saw it reopen, we were like, in Oct we saw the, it kind of pop back up again for sale in October and we thought, well, the price was incredible. So we thought we would give it a try. Um, I've seen it priced much, much higher now and I would not pay that much, um, but I was quite happy with what we did pay, which to, you know, was about, I believe about $1,000 a person, which is really, really low. Um, this is new from when I was here last time. Um, this is kind of their theater area. They do shows here every night at 9.30. The shows are very, very short. Um, they don't have a ton of, you know, resources or staff quite at the moment, um, but, it is nice, to, it's a nice option to have. Um, in that corner over there, there's a door there, I don't think you can see it, but that's kind of where their nightclub is. 
it is just a really small room as most most nightclubs at these kind of resorts are nothing spectacular but again it's it's they're trying um and that's nice to see that they're you know kind of reopening things uh, more so week by week it seems so coming out here this area of the resort so this is we came out of the lobby and we turned to our right this area of the resort is still primarily closed um they have as i said they did just reopen in november um and this side of the resort has not completely reopened yet i don't think it's going to anytime soon to be honest with you um just given the time of year i can't see them getting busy enough to need it um we did stay on this side of the resort when we were here last time there's a lovely pool over here which i've really missed to be honest with you um but i think they are using some of the rooms but overall it is still pretty deserted over here um i would walk you over but there's honestly really not much to see and it is kind of kind of sad to see um we were told on our way in that a lot of the resorts here are still completely closed in this area well not a lot but it, there's i think she said four of the 20 so that's a pretty high percentage um so we're kind of just looping back to where we just were in the lobby just taking a different route back so again as of march 2023 beginning of march 2023 that side is still completely shut down other than a few rooms i think they do have some rooms going but no pool no restaurants no snack bars bars nothing over there right now Um, so yeah, walking back towards the lobby, they do have um, a la carte restaurants here. <laughs> I will say, when we checked in, we were given literally no information about a la carte restaurants, about really any features of the hotel. I don't know, we might have just gotten a person who was new or really not the end of the world. We had been here before, so kind of knew the lay of the land a little bit um we have not tried the a la carte restaurants i've been told they're not better than the buffet and for me the buffet has not been the greatest so didn't really seem worth trying lobby bar again Um, so this area down here they do massages um, I think this is kind of like their only spa kind of area I think again I could be wrong on that um, it's very pretty I I'm not a big fan of outdoor massages to be honest but it is very nice Um, up in this area is the buffet. Me again. Um, the food here. When I was here in 2017, I actually told a lot of people that I thought the food was quite good. Um, for Cuba. <laughs> and I know everyone says that, oh, well, morning you don't go to Cuba for the food and that is true you go here because it's beautiful the people are wonderful the beaches are amazing um, but it has really been a letdown this time so I would say if you're coming here make sure to bring snacks make sure to bring condiments spices peanut butter really whatever you can think of that you like from home that is easy to travel with I'll go into that a little bit more, but it's one of the access points to the beach. Um, I'm not going to go down this one. I will show you a different one that we've been using. This is really, I think, the only one that's actually labeled as a way to get to the beach. 
Um, I will say if you have um, mobility issues or really just not even issues necessarily, if you're just kind of not a great walker, this might not be the best resort for you. Um, the main parts are pretty accessible, like the pool and the lobby and the restaurants, but when you get into getting to the beach, it is a bit of a, it's a bit of a hike. Um, they've done a really nice job, as you can see, bringing back a lot of the flowers and plants in the area that they do have open. Um, you notice it greatly if you go over to the area that isn't open. You can totally see that it's, uh, they have not been able to get that up and going, and why would they at this point? Morning. Morning. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Lots of cats here. Um, I have been bringing, I do bring temptations with me. I'm that crazy cat lady. So I have been giving those out. That cat we just passed got a handful earlier, so I think that's why she's so quiet now. Usually they they hear you coming and they meow. When we were here before, there was a lot more cats. Um, I assume they've moved on, or I like to think they've moved on. So now we're coming kind of towards the pool. Again, this is the only pool that is open right now. Our room is in this building here. Um, I will do a room tour as well. Kind of take you down to see the pool. Sorry, this is a long video. It's a big resort. <laughs> I put my running shoes on this morning so I could do this faster, but it's not going too fast, is it? And hopefully you can hear me. I didn't test this, so we'll see. So this is kind of the main pool area. And as of right now, um, and for the time being, I presume, the only pool area that is open. Um, this part is obviously where the swim up bar is. This side is like super shallow. It's like ankle depth essentially, maybe knee. It's kind of odd to me. It kind of seems like a waste um, because this area is so small by the bar and this part that is like up to your ankles or knees is pretty much unusable as far as a pool. Um, it gets super crowded in here. And the resort isn't even, I would say, if they have half the rooms open, I would guess of half the rooms in the entire resort, they might have a half to three quarters of those full. Um, that's just me guessing. I, I really don't know that for sure, but. So yeah, again, still super shallow over here. Um, it does get deeper over here where they have the volleyball court and it is deeper on this side, this side, um, for the swim up bar. Then there are two kind of bigger pool areas. They are really, it is a nice pool. Like these two pools are quite nice. Um, decent depth. They're not super deep, but you can definitely get in and swim and relax. Um, over in the distance here, that is the snack bar. They are open. I'm actually not sure the hours because again, no one told us, but um, they open in the morning and serve kind of a lighter breakfast, which I should really try because the buffet breakfast have been really terrible. Um, the friend I'm here with this week, she's a vegetarian. So a lot of times like a la carte kind of options, they don't, especially in Cuba, they don't offer a ton of egg or 
meat free options. So it's kind of why I haven't gone there. But if I get up early in the next couple days before we leave, I might come over by myself and check it out. Um, in the after, at lunchtime, they have pretty decent pizza. Um, it's certainly not pizza like home pizza, but as far as an option of something quick to eat, it's um, pretty nice. There are lots of chairs around these pools. Um, it's really not been an issue getting a chair really anywhere um, at the beach or the pool, um, even if you're up a little bit later. So that's nice. Again, I think that's more a statement to the fact that it's not completely full here. Um, the chairs over here do go a little bit quicker because people want to be by the bar. There's no pool service. Like there's no one bringing drinks around um, to your chairs here or on the beach. I did notice yesterday on the beach, there was one gentleman doing it for a little while, but he didn't stay out for very long. Um, this is the kind of gym area here. I've not been in there. <laughs> My friend has. Um, she said it's very small. They just have bikes and weights in there, but she's used it a couple times. Um, she said when we were here before there was more equipment. Um, the towel hut. They also have a pretty good little drop your books off kind of library here. So that's nice. I've been reading a lot of, a lot here. I find when I travel with my husband, when I travel with my husband, I don't read as much. He's um, always wants to be in the pool, always wants to be at the swim up bar. Um, so I don't really have as much time to read. Um, but traveling with my friend that I'm here with, she is a big reader. Um, and so, and definitely we've been sitting down on the beach a little bit more and not always in the pool or in the water. Morning. So we are now moving kind of, as you can see, there's a lot of rooms here. I, you can't, you just, lots of different room buildings. Um, I'll go into our room a little bit more when I do the room tour, but I'm not, it's, I feel like having been a repeat guest and having booked so far in advance that I'm not even talking about an upgrade. I think all the rooms are pretty much identical here as far as the room themselves. It's just the view. Um, but I feel like the room we got is really not um, particularly good. It's very, there's no privacy whatsoever. Like we really can't sit on our patio because everyone just walks by, but I was gonna show you. There's rooms down there too. So this is the path we've been using to get to the beach. Um, you can see it's not marked. Nobody, the, we found it um, when we were here last time just because at one point we were over on the far other side um, where our room was and we said we wanted to go to the beach and it was like one of our first days so we weren't sure so we asked how to get there and the one of the shuttle drivers, um, they were like, oh, we'll take you. So we're like, okay. So we got on the shuttle and they've just dropped us off here. And we're like, where the heck are we going? But yes, this is one of the paths to the beach. Um, it does take you out right by the beach bar and the grill. I do think, I do, I know that in 2017 there were other beach bars um, further down by the closed section. I don't know if those are open or not. <laughs> no. So, as you can see, it's a little bit deserted it's a little creepy I mean it's beautiful but it is very isolated so coming down here um, if you didn't know that you're going to the beach it is a little bit strange um, they have been putting out these nice kind of little pathway markers which is kind of cool See, now I don't have people around and I'm not talking very much. That doesn't make sense. 
Um, so yeah, like I said, again, if you have mobility issues, there's not an easier way than this to get to the beach. The other path I showed you that's kind of more by the lobby, it is, there's a lot of stairs to go down before you even get to a path like this. So when you get to the beach though, it is definitely worth it. This beach is spectacular and honestly, probably the best reason for coming here. Um, it's, I've seen a lot of beaches and this one is, it's probably, it's definitely in my top three. Oh, you can see it coming up. Okay, so this is the kind of main beach area. I'm not gonna go way out because I'm wearing running shoes and, but I will maybe go film from up here. So this is the beach bar, the beach grill. Um, he makes like chicken and pork sandwiches. Um, you can just get a veggie sandwich if, the, if you want. They're actually pretty good. Um, I, I've eaten a few too many of them now and I'm, I'm kind of sick of them, but they are really good. And I would definitely recommend if you're here, come down and have lunch down here. Um, it's fresh. It's like freshly cooked, freshly made. And it's to me better than the options they have at the buffet at lunch. Um, or go to the snack bar by the pool. So yeah, you can see the beach here it is stunning it's very calm this is actually the only day that we've had any clouds at all and I mean this is certainly not cloudy by any means um, they have little huts kind of zoom in here up and down the beach that do provide a fair bit of shade which is kind of nice for me I'm a pale person so yeah that's the beach I'm not gonna walk out um, all the way because these shoes will get wrecked and I have to wear them home on a plane. Um, but you can see, honestly, this beach is really the number one reason to come to Cayo Santa Maria in general and to this resort. So, um, let's see if I can find somewhere. Let's turn this back around. So, um, it's kind of where I'm going to stop this walking tour video because you don't really need to see me walking back up that pathway, I don't think. Um, if you have any questions at all, please free, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer. Um, I guess the question I get asked my, or asked myself the most is would I come back to a resort? This resort, as I said, it's my second time. Um, I am so happy that they've reopened. I think that's incredible. And I, I, you know, I feel so happy for there's people that recognized me from 2017, you know, like a serve, some servers and the people make it wonderful. Um, the beach makes it wonderful. I think if you can get it for a good price, like I did, and you can prepare yourself for the food. Yes, I would come here again. Um, <clears throat> but you really have to be prepared for the fact that the food is not it's just it's not good and I feel really bad saying like I feel terrible saying that um, it's not even so much the variety or the amount it's that it's not hot and in the buffet it's it's really cold um, so but I don't want to end this on a bad note I mean this it's a beautiful place the people are wonderful everything has been <coughs> good um, I just if you're comparing it to Mexico for the food or Dominican or Jamaica you're gonna come here and you're gonna be like oh my god this is not comparable and it's not I think if you know that kind of going in and you prepare yourself for that um, you know we brought a lot as I said I brought condiments I bought brought snacks um, but yeah overall yes I would come back here again for the right price um, and knowing what I know about the food and bringing kind of extra stuff. 
Um, definitely my, t my kind of three top things for food and drink wise is definitely go to the lobby bar in the morning. Um, get your cappuccino and they serve them all day so even if you want a cappuccino at night you can I'm just more of a morning coffee drinker um, so definitely do that um, come down to the beach here for lunch um, and have the the grilled sandwiches because they're quite good and if you go to the snack bar at lunchtime um, I think they start serving pizzas at one um, they do run out of them so I would also say the pizzas albeit very plain they don't have a lot of toppings or anything they are quite good. Um, other than that, in the buffet, the grill is okay. Like when they grill the fresh meat, I'm not a I'm not a huge meat eater, so I haven't been doing that too often. But that's not bad. Um, definitely don't miss out on the beach here. Um, if you're here, sometimes the beach seems like oh, it's such a far walk, or you know, there's a really nice pool. And I kind of fell into that trap the first time I was here. I did not come down to the beach enough. Um, it is beautiful it is stunning um, it is easy to swim in so definitely don't miss that um, ask questions because they don't give you a lot of information when you check in I haven't asked enough questions um, I've asked a few but probably not there's probably stuff I don't know about um, and I'm just assuming I do because I've been here before probably not the correct way to go about it but yeah that's pretty much it for me again any questions let me know um, I will do a room tour as well I'll probably cover some of this stuff again because not everyone want, will made it to the end of this very long video um, but yeah have a wonderful day um, my next trip I don't actually know um, but probably back to Mexico in June <laughs> thanks everyone have a great day